in there for a strike. And Lloyd McClendon out of the dugout. Something he's not liking. Things he talks about is sometimes there's something that needs to be said that needs to be said right now, and that's typically when he goes out there as opposed to sending the pitching coach. Well, I remember when Jim Leland and, and Lloyd is a protege of Jim Leland, and I remember talking to Leland about that. Remember a few years ago we were out there and Jimmy went out there and he went out and he was out there for like eight seconds. And I remember asking him the next day, I said, Jimmy, what the heck did you say? Well, I said, I don't know anything about pitching, but I know what I know. And I had to tell him. And that's what I did. Boy, <laughs> 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 does a similar type thing. <laughs> Well, now he's giving right, it to the home plate. He's all over Sean Barber. Sean he may not last, and he's gone. he's gone. He was looking for that one. Which is interesting because the last two pitches that Elias threw were at the top of the strike zone. He had the calls on him, so something has been burning Lloyd, and he's letting him have it right now. Made his intentions known. That that fuse blew up. I, evidently, that fuse has been burning for a while. Here. Well, I thought so because when I saw him get up, typically he he's pretty casual about the way he walks out to the mound. But he he shot out of that dugout in a hurry, and he had his sunglasses on. He threw just threw them on the ground, so he wasn't happy about something. And apparently, it was with the home plate umpire. 